<laughs> what a job. Check this out, y'all. <laughs> Did I get the most specialist gift today? That is my grandbaby, y'all. <laughs> my grandbaby is five years old. <laughs> and uh, she's been blessed with the gift of songs. God bless her little heart. God bless her little heart. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, Welcome, welcome uh, to this crazy house, right? Now... This particular message is to one person and one person alone because I, you know, Megan Kelly, or should I call her Clueless? Maybe that's, maybe that's a better name for you. You know, something about that name, Megan. You know, you got Megan McCain, Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly had the nerve to get mad at D.L. Hughley. Ah, it's because he said that Fox was great. He said that Mark Furman. Okay, never mind, never mind. I don't even want to go there. But Megan Kelly is at it again. Kelly calls Colin Kaepernick, uh, Kaepernick racist over NFL slavery comparison in the new Netflix show. Okay. The Fox News host co-signs claims that the former 49ers quarterback has an evil anti-American spirit. You know what? Coming from how how do I say this and not get flagged from YouTube? Because you know what, Megan? You know I thought that you learned the lesson when you uh uh put your ass in blackface and Roland Martin had to check you. I thought you learned your lesson, but obviously obviously you haven't. You are the most hypocritical. Clueless, clueless, evil, unknowing, hateful white woman that's on television today. If Colin Kaepernick, if Colin Kaepernick is an evil anti, has an evil anti-American spirit, then let me tell you what, you you are a racist bitch. Oops. There I said it, Megan. You, indeed, are a racist bitch. Now, let's go on to it. The vitriol against former NFL quarterback uh, Colin Kaepernick has heightened after his new uh, Netflix limited series, Colin in Black and White, was released to the public. Fox News host Megan Kelly has taken particular umbrage with Kaepernick after an episode in which um, he compared the NFL draft process to slavery. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate, um, and I'm going to give some credit what credit is due in the middle of my rant about your still privileged, unhypocritical, arrogant, pompous, stank ass. Okay? Colin said, what they don't want you to understand is what's being established is the power dynamic. Before they put you on the field, teams poke pride, examine you, searching for any defect that might affect your performance. No boundary is respected. No dignity is left intact. Of course, that aspect of it is just like the slave trade. That part of American history has never left. They just 
uh, put it in different forms, and now you get money, good money for it. So to make his point, it ain't like eating guts. It ain't like eating maggots. It ain't like making your son have sex with his mother. It ain't chattel slavery. Okay? Because ain't nothing like it. So when that arrogant bitch Megan puts on a black face and says that, oh, she didn't think that was nothing because she don't know her. She's clueless to the history of this country. Then you don't open up your mouth and call nobody racist because that aspect of the com com uh, combine NFL NBA where they're trying to see how fast you can run uh, like a slave. What happens? Just run, jump, jump, slave, run, 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 jump, slave. Same shit. Okay. The only thing is different and in all fairness to the masters, which has converted to owners is that they paid them slaves good money and I believe it was Rashid Wallace who said we ain't nothing but some high priced slaves see once you understand the history of this country you will realize that the slaves that could run and jump and was light skinned and all those things they got a chance to be in the house they got a chance to get some money some little extra peanuts like the NFL players that get more money than us, that get all that that have a chance to set up generational wealth for their families. But do you think for one minute that I'm saying, "Ooh, ooh, I'm so happy! Look at the money y'all getting," because you owners are crooks, and most of y'all got the money off the backs of our ancestors. See, so do you see how important it is for you to know history? Because the fact is, you ain't even giving them half, a third, a trinket of the money that you owe them, period. And their, and, 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 and their relatives and their ancestors, whether they jump through a damn columbine, put a ball in a hoop, or, or run a, 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 a ball through a, 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 um, the damn... A uh, field goal, field post, goal post. They should be having that kind of money anyway. You stole it. So before you before you start talking about how racist Colin Kaepernick is, and he hates America because we point out the evilness of America, don't mean we hate her. We know that America could be the greatest country in the world, and at one time she was. But she ain't never been true to who it was she said on paper. And we thought that we were striving for a more perfect union until we woke up. And so this the same old game, the same old way. You just high tech it, you tweak it. You tweak it, take some shit out because you know damn well, listen, it's just like when you go to the circuit. When you're training an elephant, you keep him, you keep his leg chained like a slave. You keep his leg chained so he can't go here to there, here to there. And what you say, go. Otherwise, you crack, crack the whip on him. Am I right? Ain't this how you have treated and trained the elephant? Tell me I'm lying. And it is the same way you have trained and treated the Negro. He was made to do those things. Then he was whipped if he didn't. So pretty soon, once you train your animal the way you need to have him trained, you took the chain off the elephant. And guess what? He never left that tree. He never left the side. He went as far as he went when that chain was off. Just as far as he would go if the chain was on. Okay? So, you think because you plucked these black men out of these poor neighborhoods. And then, uh, if they're not, if they can't make your columbine, 
if they not the fastest and the, uh, can shoot the basket the most and run the fastest and jump the highest or box them or knock somebody and entertain you. Entertain you. The way Caesar wanted uh, 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 his uh, cohorts to be uh, uh, entertained. He wanted to be entertained and if they slave didn't do what he wanted them to do, what'd he do? Kill them. So we have no uh, uh, value unless we entertain you because Colin Kaepernick just wanted to put a knee down to oppose and to bring awareness to black people being shot on the streets by police department and we got to pay taxes for a police department that continues to brutalize and murder us and there's nothing being done. There's nothing being done. Can't even pass a George Floyd bill. Police have qualified immunity. Why can't we sue the damn police for killing us? I'm tired of paying on double status. I gotta pay when he kill it when you, when the person sue, and this cop gets to get to get away with murder. But you don't want to talk about that. You want you have the nerve to say he's. No, nobody hates America uh, uh, more than you white people that lie and, and be a hypocrite and then get mad because people call you out on your lies. You are the biggest haters of America because America said on paper that she wanted the more perfect union. America said on paper, bring me your tired, your poor. That's what America said on paper. But what has America done? And we still be loyal to you. It's just like an old dog. And you got the nerve to talk about uh, 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 like I said, the only thing that you said that I will give you credit for is the fact that when you talk about slavery, chattel slavery, there's nothing that compares to it. But the chopping block when you're about to be sold for people to prod you down and feel your muscles and rub you, that's all slave shit. Do your research. Following, um, uh, 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 and if you are, are also disagreeing with me that this is a, not a a power, if you're not establishing a, a power dynamic, then what are you doing? You got the owners and the people, sit, coaches sitting up here looking at these field, these Negroes jumping up and running, or poor whites, whoever, running up and down, uh, running up and down, and like a slap, that's the master slave relationship. Okay? Again, let's keep going. Following his statement, a group of actors portraying NFL prospects was next shown standing next on a standing on a football field where they were morphed into shackled enslaved men being examined on an auction block. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? There you go again. I'm so sick of this damn white fragility. It happened. You did it. And you still do it. You never lost that. Just like pick a nick, nick, picnic means pick any nigga on a Sunday and, and lynch him. Same thing. The, the, those who don't remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And because you don't know the past of this country, it's impossible to get along with people like you. That's why we can't have no peace. Because you project everything that you are onto everybody else. You are the most racist, hatefulest, anti-American white woman on the face of the planet. And especially that insensitive shit you said about Mark Furman. Who is a known black uh, a, a man beater, killer. Washing blood off his uh, uh, uniform, that he was so brutal. 
the blood is just all soaked and saturated in his clothes. And you got the nerve. The nerve. They think something was wrong with D.L. Hewley because he said, oh, wow, I, this racist guy is here? Megan Kelly, let me tell you something. She said, he's insane. Bitch, you insane. Let's start there. This is a racist guy. He is really a racist guy, and he hates our country. He love. He don't hate America. He hate the hypocrisy of America, just like me, just like Huey Newton, just like Martin Luther King, just like Malcolm X, just like Louis Farrakhan, just like Elijah Muhammad. Shall I go on? Just like Frederick Douglass, just like Sir John and Truth, just like Harriet Tubman. What's wrong with you? We're tired of being in denial and being psycho because of y'all trying to project y'all madness onto us. And that is the main reason why we can't get along. Because you don't want to know what the true history is. You don't even want to sit through it. Because if you did, you wouldn't open up your mouth to say something so damn hateful. Because, honey, before you call Colin a, a racist, everything you said about him is double, triple to you wearing blackface ass, bitch. How dare you? There's one thing, you know, the, the, only, the closest you came. To be a threatened and afraid is when Donald Trump scared your ass. Set you at set your ass down too, didn't he? I'm sorry, y'all. Some of y'all just some of this shit is just so insane. I get to wonder where where the craziness, where the crazy house is it here or is it there? That's why it's a mental house. But what the fuck is what is the what is going on? How dare her? He has an evil anti-American spirit because he hate oppression. Don't nobody hate nobody because of the color of their skin. We hate oppression. We hate murder of innocent black people, brown people, and poor white people. And more specifically, what I'm talking about is poor black people. Go to hell, Megan McCain. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh damn go to hell Megan Kelly and you take Megan McCain's ass right along with you 